What's up dudes, Chooch back with another one, bringing y'all some updated information on the veteran Sherman and the veteran Abrams. So these are two of the top of the line, like just do it all unicycles right here. This is going to be your adventure wheel, your off-roader, your high speed, everything in between. And good news guys, this wheel that I'm riding on right here is going to be back in stock from e-wheels in late December. So there's, it's been long awaited. You have not been able to get this specific unicycle that I'm riding right here at all. Um, there's been a, maybe a few people that had some left over, but for the most part, it's been pretty scarce to get your hands on one of these. And it is for good reason. It was a great wheel, extremely long range, high speed, comes with that knobby tire that is that all-terrain, that is really what a lot of people are riding these unicycles on, is that all-terrain adventure type ride, hitting dirt roads, trails, bike paths, really getting on that concrete and ripping it around too. The thing about the veteran Sherman is, is that 3,200 watt hour capacity. That's your maximum capacity for these things, which is incredible. So if you're gonna want the maximum range you can get for those super, super long range rides through the mountains, if you're going on those 50 plus mile rides with your guys, you're gonna wanna wait and get that veteran Sherman. That 3,200 watt hours is just unbeatable, man. You can just ride from sun up to sun down all day, and you can even adventure places where you don't really know where you're going and just still have insane range and peace of mind um, adventuring to these spots and know you'll be able to get home. Um, and that's one thing that I really, really like about the veteran Sherman in particular is because I like to just kind of go out riding, there man. with no root in mind and n nothing really, you know, hanging over me. And I like to just explore. And then one thing about the unicycles that have a little bit lower range is you get halfway into your ride and you start looking at that marker about 50% battery left and you really start to restrain yourself on how far you're going and you may kind of turn around a little bit and not adventure quite as far but with this one it really opens the doors to just finding new places and going to where you've never gone before which I really really like about this unicycle in particular right here one thing to note though, the veteran Abrams is going to be releasing soon, which is a ton of battery power as well, guys. But the thing about this, we're gonna go over the differences on this, what the Abrams is all about. I'm gonna put a few detailed pictures up right here. And these are some quality pictures. You can really see what this thing's gonna be look like. A lot of the same um, profiling and a lot of the same type of um, just design from the Sherman to the Abrams for sure. One thing to note is going to be a 22 inch tire though. So this is a 20 inch right here. This is gonna be a 22 inch wheel, a little bit bigger, and it's gonna just handle those bumps a little bit better on, on the main road and stuff like that. You see like on this dirt road right here, I'm getting a little bit of bumps in there. This 22 inch wheel will probably handle that a little bit better. A little bit wider tire as well, if I'm not mistaken. And it's going to be a tubeless tire, guys. So that's one thing that's really, really unique about the veteran Abrams. It's uh, the only other unicycle we've had in the past was the 9Bot Z10 that was tubeless. And there was no real problems with having a tubeless tire. I really enjoyed it, but this is going to be unique because the Z10 was a unique, really fat style, like, uh, like a crotch rocket style tire. This is just a normal type of like dirt bike style du dual sport tire. So this is going to be really unique in, in understanding how this is going to work. And I'm... I mean, I'm going to like to see once everybody gets their hands on one of these and they're out there and people talking in the forums, I'm going to like to see how a tubeless tire is over time. And if you can just, I mean, I think you can put tire, can you put tire slime in a tubeless tire? I have no idea, but uh, we'll see. Like some of the guys with an in, in Enduro Cross run like a Bib tire, tire, which a Bib is kind of like, think of it like a foam pool noodle that you would put inside the tire in there so that you could just ride with it and never get a flat. But that's only for uh, hardcore, like off-road dirt bike riding scenarios where you're really wanting to get that grip in there and you're not really hitting speeds over like, I'd say like 45 miles an hour traditionally in the woods um, and off-roading on a motorcycle where you're gonna be running bibs in your tires. So it's gonna be unique to play with, and I, and I know people are going to do that. So people are definitely gonna to try to put bibs in this thing, and um, including myself, I think that'll be perfect for off-road, where you can ride off-road and you'll never be able to get a flat. So it'd be interesting to see what's done with this and how that tubeless tire really works out in the long run. Um, on the veteran Abrams, 
you can see on the front of this thing, man, four huge headlights. And as bright as the headlight was on the veteran Sherman, and as good as, I mean, it was incredible. And you, you see it right there. It is just phenomenal, that headlight on that Sherman. I really like the look of it, the design. But this one, it, this one just looks even, like it's going to be even brighter. Like it looks like it's going to be twice as bright. So I'm expecting this thing to really be a bigger success than a lot of people are thinking because I think everybody out there that wanted to get the Sherman, now that the Sherman is kind of coming back around to being in stock, they're going to be looking at this Abrams as well. And I think the Abrams is going to be a little bit more refined. I think there's a lot of people that are also going to be shooting for the Sherman too. But uh, the Abrams is going to be 2,700 watt hours. Like I said, 50 to 60 mile per hour is what people are thinking. I'm thinking it's going to be definitely faster than the wheel I'm riding right here, the Sherman. It's going to have that 22 inch tubeless tire and it's going to be IP65 water resistance on it. So it's gonna be very, very waterproof guys, almost waterproof. I really, I'm expecting this Abrams to ride in a similar fashion to the Sherman. I'm just thinking that stuff like dirt roads and just the high speed stuff with the stability factor of the Sherman, man, like there's no other wheel I would want at high speed, like over 40 miles an hour on the main road. There's simply no other wheel that feels as stable as this veteran Sherman right here. And this is going to be similar, similar software, similar hardware, and it's going to be just a little bit bigger wheel on this thing. And it's going to be a little bit heavier, but I'm just thinking it's going to be that solid wheel that just maintains on the road and you can just send it and have that insane stability factor there. And that is the key with the Sherman. Yeah, it's a heavy wheel, and yeah, it's not quite as nimble as the other ones, but if you're going a long way and you're trying to commute over a long distance and not just fool around, that's what you want. And that's what a lot of people like to do. And there's, you know, there's a handful of people I like to play around on my wheel too, hit some jumps, all that stuff. That's what the RS High Torque is for, where you can play and commute and all that type of stuff as well. If you're a hardcore commuter, you just want to get the thing that's going to get you from point A to point B the fastest. It looks cool. It's literally like the most reputable company, man. That veteran Sherman sold like crazy. It is they they did so well, Leprechem, just to start off out of the gate. It's phenomenal. So I think this wheel right here is going to be just the commuter's dream, and it looks great. It's going to be the the best looking, the highest quality, and the fastest commuter wheel out there by far. This is gonna this is gonna be the wheel that you see guys that are all about this hobby that are wanting to go extremely fast and just really really have the do it all wheel. They aren't really worried about suspension too much. They're they're they they're focused on power, range, and just having the top quality device. And I think that a lot of people are kind of overlooking the the Abrams for what it is, but I think they really worked on this wheel and refined it to be exactly what a lot of people have been wanting. It may not be what everyone wants, but I think this is exactly what a huge demographic of this hobby has been waiting for. And I think they're really going to do well with this one. And I think they're going to sell a lot of the Shermans too. I think that just having those back out around the holiday season, yeah, there was a little bit of bump in price in there from last year for this Sherman due to the way everything's going on in the world. But I still think that a lot of people are going to want a Sherman, man, because you can't deny it. This wheel is phenomenal, and even even having one, I even want a second one. It's like it's like that good, man, because you don't want to tear up your Sherman when you get it. And that's the kind of the one bad thing about it is, is because you, you like it so much, and it is such a sick piece of equipment that once you actually get it in your house and in the door, it's like, dude, it's like majestic. It's like, I don't know, man, I don't want to tear this thing up because this thing is sweet, dude. And, but that's just the way it goes. But I think a lot of guys out there that have the Sherman that also pick up this um, Abrams, you're going to be able to just go out and send and, and really give your Sherman uh, the hell you've been wanting to give it for the past year. So you'll have another Leopard Chem product in there. And for the guys that don't have the Abrams or the Sherman, definitely look at it, guys. The links are below. Check them out. They help the channel and help me keep going to cool rides like this. Anyways, it's been Chooch. I'll see you dudes in the next one.